Oh, God. So, one of the things that you did, uh, the, the, the one thing you did uh, bring up that you wanted to talk about was um, the uh, developing a game engine on Arch. It is a nightmare. So, most of the time it'll work. Mm -hmm. But in any, in, 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 as is the case with any art system, mm -hmm. eventually something weird will break for a weird reason that sure. is as weird. And I had that happen three days ago. So, I was not informed of this, but SDL3 came out. Mm. I don't know why I wasn't informed, because my game engine is written in SDL2. I guess maybe I'm not popular enough to know about SDL releases. Um, so SDL3 comes out, <laughs> and, you know, I'm thinking, great, it has all these new APIs I might actually use. Like, it has a dialogue API now. I think it's just the front end for ATK on Linux, but either way, I can go into SDL and say, hey, pop up an error message, which is a lot better than doing it in engine, because if your engine crashes and you can't display the error message that tells the user why the engine crashes, mm -hmm. your only other option is to log it to the terminal, and the terminal might not be open, so I don't think that's adequate. So I'm glad they have a dialogue API. But anyway, SD3, SDL3 comes out. Mm -hmm. But I'm still on SDL2, and I'm not ready to port. Because porting requires work, and I'd rather dedicate work to working on the game. Um, not the engine. Mm -hmm. Especially the platform layer that really doesn't need to change, because it works fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, last week, I started a massive documentation run. Because I want people to contribute to the game, I want people to know how to use the API. Um, so I'm going through it. I'm documenting everything. I got some freaking synth wave music going the whole time. Everything's going well. And uh, and every now and then I'm compiling the game, making sure I haven't broken something somehow because, you know, Games. somehow documentation Coding. can break things sometimes yeah. for some reason. I don't know. But, you know, um, I'm doing that and everything's working fine. You know, some things have broken because I've been removing code. Mm -hmm. Um text labels in settings are now white instead of being green. I have to look into that. But that's subtle. That's fine. It's fine. Um, and so um, I get to Wednesday last week, and I'm doing documentation, and I do an art update. And I think this art update is fine. I don't <laughs> think about it too much, because mm -hmm. nothing really big is going on. I do see some SDL stuff, but I don't think about it. As I'm thinking to myself, okay, this SDL2 package is getting replaced with SDL2 compat. That's fine. SDL3 came out. There's probably some legacy package mm -hmm. rename going on there. It's fine. Um, and I keep working. And then Thursday happens, and I get a massive cluster headache. So, I put the source code down Wednesday night. I go to bed. I have my cluster headache. And then... I come back on Friday, and I boot the game, and I'm checking, and I try to hover over things mm -hmm. in the UI, and it ain't doing it. Mm -hmm. You know, usually when you hover over something in socially distant, there's a tooltip now. It tells you what the icons are, because accessibility is important. Sure. Those tooltips were not coming up. Mm -hmm. And I thought, okay, maybe the game hang I tabbed over to the IDE. No, everything's fine. Game's still running. Still pumping messages. It's fine. And so I try clicking on things, and, you know, and no, not working. <laughs> okay, so I try going into system settings, because maybe my frame rate is just really low. No, I couldn't get into system settings. Couldn't click it. Okay, so I hit one of the I am GUI debug layers to check my frame rate. So I hit F4, and it comes up, and it tells me I'm running solid 60 FPS, VSync on, because I'm on Wayland. Mm -hmm. And, great, it's fine. And I think, okay, maybe there's, like, a user interface element blocking the mouse cursor from reaching the ones that I can actually see. Maybe I've introduced some sort of weird bug. I don't know. I open the widget inspector, which allows me to see all the UI in the game and where, how it's all laid out. And I cannot click on any of the nodes. Now, they're not in my native UI system. They're in IM GUI. So something is desperately wrong right now if mm -hmm. I cannot click on IM GUI. And I cannot click on I am GUI. So I go, okay, something's weird. My keyboard's working, but my mouse isn't. Now, I'm on my documentation branch, which is not master. Mm -hmm. So I think, okay, I'll stash my changes, and I'll go to master. 
which I knew worked. And I booted up. And same problem. The mouse ain't working. And then I go to Steam. And I boot the game on 24.07, which at this point is almost a year old. <laughs> and it works. Mm -hmm. And then I go to Steam, and I boot the uh, master. Um, the, the Git beta for the master branch. Mm -hmm. Now you know why I didn't say the words in order. Um, so, um, I boot that version of the game, which is the same build that wasn't working earlier with the mouse. And I boot it, and it works fine. So, exact same build of the game, working fine under Steam, not working fine under a debugger. What's going on? Mm -hmm. So then I look, and I look into system settings, and I think, okay, maybe Steam's running the game in X11 mode? No, I don't even see a Wayland toggle, which implies that maybe it's not running under Linux. So I open the in-game terminal type NeoFetch, check the host string, which tells me what operating system the game is running on. NeoFetch in-game is actually a debugging tool for me, so if I ever get a bug report, I'm going to ask for NeoFetch output. <laughs> yes, I'm serious. Um, so I look at that, and it says Steam runtime version whatever, 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 x64. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's not helpful. I want to know what operating system it thinks it's running on. Not that it's running under Steam. So I exit the game, and I right-click on it, because I'm thinking, maybe it's running under Proton, and that's why it's working. Mm -hmm. Because there are Windows builds. And I remembered a year ago, I did set the game to purposefully run on Proton back before I had Linux working. Mm -hmm. um, and I looked, no, it wasn't running under, under Proton. I actually turned on the little toggle to force it to run under a specific runtime, and it was the Steam runtime. But I noticed there was an option, Legacy Runtime, and I'm thinking, ooh, what if I run it under that? Okay. Um, and this is how I found out that Steam vendors SDL2 <laughs> in the Steam Runtime. Yep. So, I booted the same build of the game under Legacy Runtime, and the mouse stopped working. Mm -hmm. So this tells me there is some package difference between my art system and Steam. <laughs> and like I said, Steam vendors SDL2. Now that's great! Tells me it's not a bug in my code! But it also means I can't work on the game on my current system. Mm -hmm. So, I write a debug tool at this point to figure out what's going on with the mouse. And I add it to the IM GUI layers, which I know I can access. And I hit F4 to bring it up. And I'm moving the mouse around. And there's a little indicator saying where it thinks the mouse is. And it keeps thinking it's at location 00, zero which is the top left of the screen. Mm -hmm. No matter where I put it. And I actually took a screenshot of the mouse cursor, like, way near the bottom of the window, mm -hmm. or of the visible zoom area of my screen, and then the little mouse indicator thing saying it's at top left of the screen, when it's clearly not, because you can see where the cursor is. Mm -hmm. So, basically what happened is, art maintainers, mm -hmm. they swapped the SDL package out with SDL2 compact which is an official SDL library, and what it does is it's SDL2, but under the hood, SDL3. Uh -huh. So, you know, if there's any bug fixes in SDL3, you get those bug fixes. However, the game will still think it's SDL2, so it'll work. Mm -hmm. Except it's not actually SDL2, it's pretending to be SDL2 in terms of API and ABI, but it is decidedly not SDL2, because it broke mouse position pulling, and that is the feature of SDL2 that I use. So, I'm going to have to file a bug report for that, which requires logging into GitHub, which I don't want to do, but maybe that'll give me a reason to finally fix 2FA on it. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I'll have, to re I'll have to find a bug to fix that and get it fixed for other games that maybe have that same issue, because I doubt that I'm the only one. Mm -hmm. um, and so, that's great. But what I ended up needing to do is, if you go in the Arch Wiki, mm -hmm. the SDL2 Wiki article for it, tells you that if you still need SDL2, you are recommended to install SDL2 Compat, and it'll do it automatically if you have SDL2 installed. Mm -hmm. um, the, repo uh, the package got renamed, and anything that requires SDL2 will, require will see SDL2 Compat as SDL2, and it'll work. Mm -hmm. Problem is, if you go to uninstall that to replace it, uh, KDE requires SDL2 for gamepad support. Uh-huh. So, um, 
unable to install SDL2 compat because it breaks co dependency SDL2 required by Plasma Workspace or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, that's fine, whatever. <laughs> we had a KDE developer uh, go, what? Uh, Saver Hugo, I love him. Uh, confused the hell out of him. <laughs> <laughs> um, then, then he saw the other packages that were also complaining about this when I tried to remove it. Um, FFmpeg requires SDL. Oh, uh, what? Okay. Uh, SCRCPY, which is a tool I use for viewing my Android phones at at. And on on my PC where I can zoom in and use a mouse and keyboard. Hmm. That uses SDL2. That actually makes sense because it's actually a graphical application. Um, but FFmpeg, I don't know why it uses SDL2 because, like, it's a video encoding library and I don't... It, it doesn't render to the screen. It doesn't use window um... management. It doesn't use a gamepad. What does it do with SDL? I don't know. But it requires it. Um... Maybe it uses it to set up an off-screen open AL context. I don't know. Um, but either way. Uh, Theme CMD hmm. requires SDL2. Theme CMD, the command line version of Steam. Uh, they ha Wait, hold on. Just one thing. Uh, they, they have this in their documentation. Uh, what would this mean? It doesn't really tell, it's just, it's just pure code documentation. But, they're doing something with it. Okay. So they're doing something with SDL2, but it weirded me out. But the weirder thing is that Steam CMD needs it? Why? Okay. Um, so here's how I ended up fixing this. Um, right next to where it says use SDL2 compat, it says if you actually need SDL2, it's in the AUR now. Mm-hmm. Um, don't know why, but it is. I would think SDL2 compat should go in the AUR, because it's not quite ready, I guess, because my game broke in it, and that's if, how I feel. If the project says it's the official package, I guess, like, I, I get why they've done it like that. It no, might be it annoying, broke but like, things. yeah, it, it broke things, but if the project's saying this is the way to do it, like, I get why they've done it, even if it's not the yeah. thing they should be doing. Yeah, but either way. Mm. Uh, SDL2 is in the AOR, so to install that, I have to compile it. Great, mm. whatever. Um, so, eventually it finishes compiling and it says, Hey, SDL2 compat conflicts with SDL2. Would you like to replace SDL2 compat with it? And I'm like, sure, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and it says, okay, I cannot remove SDL2 compat because it breaks lib32 SDL compat, which is required by Steam CMD. So... Go remove lib32 SDL compat, and it goes, no, you can't do that because Steam CMD needs it. So I go remove Steam CMD, then remove the lib32 package, then remove SDL2 compat by replacing it with SDL2. Then I had to compile lib32 SDL compat, or SDL2, mm -hmm. through AOR, and get that working. Then I had to install C Steam CMD, and I boot so heavily distant, and my mouse works. Never mind the fact that I'm using a an integral system package that I installed through the Arch user repository, which you're generally not supposed to do, but my mouse works. Ah, uh, this is why people don't develop things on Arch if they need very critical packages and use containers or use, like, Debian Stale or something like that. And the worst part is, is this won't affect the CI/CD builds because they're all done through either Ubuntu or Alpine. 